Hello, my name is Ben Bussey from the McPhail Center for Music, and today I will be talking about uh, tips and tricks for practicing the tuba and euphonium etudes for the Minnesota Allstate Band Audition. Um, first of all, both tuba and euphonium auditions have both duple and triple subdivision side by side next to each other. Um, duple subdivision would be eighth notes and sixteenth notes and two four or four four, and triple subdivision would be our three eighth note filled beats in six eight or uh, triplet eighth notes in 4-4 four, four time. Um, because we don't play in triple subdivision, you want to give yourself ways of practicing extra triple subdivision just to give yourself that idea of what it feels like and sounds like to divide the beat equally into three parts. So for that G-flat major etude, maybe I'm practicing my G-flat major scale and keeping my tempo about here. I'm just working on dividing those eighth notes into triplets. <laughs> I hope you heard as I got to the third note of the scale that I was starting to introduce some duple time as well. It's useful to do this because in our etudes that's what we actually experience, both duple and triple subdivision next to each other. Uh, the second trick I can give you here that is going to help with all of these, both on tuba and euphonium, is um, giving yourself some turns where you just play with the air without any buzz. You could consider this air playing or imaginary playing. Uh, it allows us to do some uh, a variety of different things with uh, coordinating the tongue and the fingers, but uh, most of all it gives us that sensation of freedom with, with which we can blow through the uh, instrument uh, past the embouchure and the mouthpiece. So here's the first four bars of the F minor euphonium etude. I hope you can hear that there's a little bit of like tongue articulation in the windiness in the sound, and you really want to listen for that as you're uh, blowing the air through the tube. Now when I go back and play, I'm trying to emulate that sensation of freedom that I'm getting with just the air as I play. <laughs> Feels pretty good, and the sound is a little bit more robust, robust, more rich. Um, the third great tip I can give you for this is, you know, because we're in six-eight time in this euphonium etude in particular, uh, we've got some tricky rhythmic entrances to deal with. Uh, by taking some of those rests and inserting notes, or otherwise simplifying the rhythms, we can help ourselves learn exactly how long those rests are. I'm going to take that same first four bars and uh, add some notes in on those rests and simplify some rhythms to help myself really feel the steady beat and how the notes are supposed to, how the rhythms are supposed to work with each other. By practicing those extra notes, eventually you just edit them out and then you know how long those rests are. Uh, the final tip I can give you uh, is to make sure that you're recording yourself before you get in and record your audition with your band teacher. Uh, not only do you get a lot of great information about your own playing by listening back, uh, but it also can get some of those uh, jitters out of recording uh, in front of another person. Anyway, uh, good luck in your audition and I hope these tips were useful for you as you prepare. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, that's it. I'll yeah. take it even.